Hello guys, good morning. In my previous video, we did an unboxing and went through some quick specifications of Honor 9N and uh, its uh, initial impressions. In this video, primarily we'll be focusing on the top reasons to buy this phone and the reasons not to buy this phone. So Honor 9N has released three variants in the Indian market. The first variant is priced at 12,000. That's a 3 GB, 32 GB variant. The 4 GB, 64 GB variant is priced at 14,000 and the higher end version of uh, 4 GB, 128 GB version is insanely priced at uh, 18,000 rupees. I would recommend uh, to go for the 4 GB, uh, 64 GB version that is decently priced at around 13999. The top reason why anyone would love to have this phone is undoubtedly the 19 is to 9 aspect ratio notch, full view display with a full, full HD plus resolution. The uh, display is uh, vibrant, bright, sharp and clear and uh, also provides better sunlight visibility. Like I said before, Honor is the only company that has dared to come up with a you know, notch uh, full view display at this uh, price segment, just 11 triple line, it's too much to ask. So that is about the display and the second one is the immersive, uh, impressive 12 layer mirrored rear design. This is the most beautiful rear panel you will see on any mobile at this price segment. At this price segment, no questions asked. Rest assured. And the third thing is the 16 megapixel selfie camera, guys. I have taken a lot of selfies in uh, both in indoor lighting, indoor lighting condition, artificial lighting condition, outdoor uh, lighting condition, and low lighting condition. Um, the images are quite uh, clear, bright, and. Um, uh, be it the detailing, the exposure, the saturation, the color reproduction, all seems to be well in place and uh, it's way ahead of its uh, competitor when it comes to the, uh, to the 16 megapixel front uh, camera. And uh, the fourth thing is the design and comfort. So, in, fi in spite of this uh, uh, 5.84 la inch large display, this phone feels light comfortable and easy to hold. This is very important for me personally. The weight and the thickness and the comfort are the three most important things that I, I see in a mobile before I look at any other features. So it is 5.84 inch screen. It is light, comfortable, compact, easy to operate in one hand. And it's just, uh, uh, you know, they have uh, weighed it at just 152 gram. That is uh, pretty modest and uh, decent considering the large display. The fifth reason you should uh, have this device is it's uh, responsive, fast and accurate uh, face and uh, fingerprint uh, locking mechanism. Uh, I've already shown this in my previous video but just to add um, to the positive point I'll show it again. So I'm just tapping on this and it's opening up, okay? Tap, opens up. Tap and it opens up. And uh, let's look at the face and locking mechanism. Now it's unlocked and now it's locked. Unlocked. It's locked. Unlocked. It's locked now and it unlocks. And even I checked in low light condition, it works well there. So that's about uh, the five top reasons you should have this phone. Now we will quickly move to the uh, reasons not to have this phone. Uh, the first uh, con of this device is the absence of a dedicated uh, uh, micro SD uh, slot, uh, guys. So although this device comes with a, a 53 GB user available space out of the box, uh, still, for those of you out there who would like to have a dedicated SD slot, like the, if you want to use two uh, SIM card and one uh, SD card, then this definitely is a deal breaker because it uh, comes with a hybrid uh, setup, guys. And um, the second thing is a battery. Now, talking about the battery um, capacity, uh, the competitors like Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Zenfone Max Pro M1 has a 4000 and 5000 mAh battery, respectively. Uh, but this one has a 3000 mAh battery. and. Uh, but uh, if you compare it with the you know size and the thickness, okay, the size is uh, 5.84 inch, guys, remember, and the thickness is just 7.7 .7 mm. We could not ask for more. Somewhere or other, they have to compromise. But it's not that the battery life is terrible. It could easily last for a day. Um, for uh, most of your heavy, uh, most of your normal day-to-day -day needs, it would easily uh, you know suit your uh, uh, daily needs and it would easily give a battery backup of around 20 to 13 hours. But if you are a heavy gamer and uh, do a lot of video streaming, hours and hours of video streaming, then yes, you would be able to kill it uh, before uh, 9 or 10 uh, at night. The third thing is uh, the absence of any kind of video stabilizing mechanism, guys. Like uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro offers EIS, although it does not have OIS, it's optical image stabilization that comes with the flagship uh, range devices. 
uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro has EIS that uh, reduces the shakiness of the video while if you were to take a video while walking or running um, at least you, you would be able to see and experience and enjoy the video uh, with the absence of EIS the video taken while you're walking is not worth watching at all that's definitely a drawback the fourth is there's no fast charging mechanism guys it takes around two and a half hours to charge from zero to hundred percent so yes the, that is uh, certainly a drawback um, given uh, the smaller battery capacity of this phone if, if in by any chance if you want to charge the mobile then you have to wait for hours before you know you get uh, from even 15 to 19 90 percent it takes around two hours so that's one thing and uh, the fifth uh, fifth is uh, the Kirin 659 SOC high silicon processor that we have been using in Honor 9, I Honor um, uh, 9 Lite and Honor 7X and now in Honor 9N. So this is a video of a chipset This doesn't uh, really compete with its uh, competitors like Snapdragon 636. Um, but it's a uh, tried and tested Honor uh, uh, in-house processor and it's uh, uh, battery efficient. That's how the 3000 mAh battery is, uh, you know, uh, is able to suffice the 5.84 inch uh, display guys. So, though you would not uh, notice any lag, but uh, yes, given its price range, yes, you would definitely see it as a disadvantage because it can nowhere stand your uh, Snapdragon 636. So that's about it gone guys. Um, you have the uh, information now with you to have an informed decision. So, until I see you in the next video guys, take care, bye-bye.